Welcome back to This is the Police, and we're gonna learn how to hire and fire. Affairs. Police station. Labor market. No, labor. There we go. You have a certain number of paid openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Shift uh, B, I guess. This is shift A, so. Trying to, ch oops, trying to cutscene audio still needs to be a little higher. Let's just make it 70 across the board. I think that'll be better. No, I want the other audio at eight. It's oh, I do. Why is it doing that? Here, we'll just turn cuts into. Well, damn you. And then we go personnel. Want to free up a slot? Time to fire someone. Well, let's fire Roy. He's professionalism five. If you have grounds for termination, no one ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legality be damned. But that can land you in additional proceedings. Your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about doing their jobs. Have a police officer killed, but that's not... Fire didn't come to work, came to drunk, too old, failed three. Can I... Uh, hello? And I have uh, another cop, so, so Tina, you come in too. St. John's Cathedral. We received a frightened call from the local cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered someone entered the old cemetery during the night. The tombstones are painted with satanic symbols. Some have been broken into pieces. It seems there were even marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. That doesn't sound like a very big thing, so let's just send Robin and Butch Jr. I think they can handle it. Robin, so make sure it's professional. Butch Jr. will gain a little experience. Atticus Tower. Businessman Holly Jones, looking out his window, saw two teenagers scream. Uh, that's, again, not that great. So Samadhi and Butch, you both... I don't think that we need three people on that. There's only two teens... Okay, vandalism report. Offender escaped. Guys! Eddie's Burgers. A waitress named Mila reports that he just served a chicken Eddie and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on the TV. Sitting at the... Okay. Could be a false alarm, but with stove all there, it should be fine. Vandalism report. Oh, come on! You guys! This is not that hard of a thing. You catch the bad guys! Okay, you catch the bad guys! The waitress is mistaken. Retired Officer Frank Nero for the future of the question. Well, at least that's okay. King Louis Nightclub. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer, stuffed himself with Mexican food again. And now he can't get it off the can. The line outside, we need someone who can tell the... Go ahead, Randall. Just do the man a favor. I might have to send some Maldi. That's kind of a slow day, I guess. 
Uh, he said, right, Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons is selling crack to teenagers. Okay. Somebody take Grant and go do this. So I guess the police station, yeah, it's right here. Fleet Street suicide threat. Oh no, a naked man carrying a canister of gasoline is threatened to set himself on fire. Uh, Stovall, Robbins, go. Go hurry up and do something. Uh. Guess I didn't have a full shift for some odd reason. Oh, okay, so it gives me time to... As police around is making... Carefully take the clown onto the ice around him. Cover up in a raincoat, pretend to be an enlisted customer. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. 11, 11. Yeah, we got him! That's a good job. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned working... Damn it! I guess it wasn't... I just lost... Sam Sorkin gave me 4500 Well, that sucked. Oh, suicide threat. But we got the offender. Thank God. I just lost... I just promoted him. You know... What the hell do you do with detectives anyway? Day four. Ross Bird to reveal his identity when the time is right. Enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg and feminist organization denied official registration. Odd. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. It's not my wife, She's Laura, is it? My name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? No! To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Goodness. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. Hey, there's nothing wrong with religion, but... ...asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and... Never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. Uh huh. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother. Oh, my wife Today left I'm me. A little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky. Ready to fire my warning shots. That's probably not good. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. I'm a hard grizzled vet, man. She's going to leave home. She'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand. Oh, at least I got my boys. I love my boys. I wonder if I can hire my boys. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. She just left me? That's not cool. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds. Well, yeah. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but... He'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Uh -huh. Sally's going to track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. Yeah, maybe I should just back off on this. If everyone's on my side, let's not rock the boat. Oh, who am I calling? Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Hi, Sally. Uh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you 
found anything? An address, phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girl. Wow, I should for someone who's on my side, I should be nicer to her. Straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. I thought we had a pact. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Goodness. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Well, that was something, I tell you what. My father got drunk and beat my mother again. This time it looks bad. I'd like to... Uh, absolutely, Asano. Absolutely. There is no way I'm going to... So Beasley's here, even though it's not his shift. I like that it says, A, stop the day. So that was okay. Let's try this one. I like that it lets me choose the music. Oh, this is much better. I like this song. City Hall parking lot. If someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to the detectives. Oh, that's a homicide. Well, here, we'll... Let's do this first. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching some expensive cars in the parking lot carrying a large iron rod. The whole street could hear him... Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can't do that until I take care of the homicide. They investigate the crime scene, interview witnesses, and gather whatever information seems pertinent. One of your detectives will be lead investigator on the case. You can assign additional detectives to be to any case who work under the lead investigator as subordinates. This is the most awesome strategy game ever. The more professional the lead detective, the more effective the team. Beasley, thank you for coming in. Take Armstrong and DeBrito and let's black activist Ronnie Moore was found. Well, that's not cool. Let's get some justice for poor Ronnie. Meanwhile, here at the City Hall parking lot, Kochi. Take... Take Subaki with you. So that's what detectives are for. Fire all black cops? From City Hall, a racist gang. What? They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local rape punish black doctor. Any dead police. The racists are getting more and even some you have to do the mountain. What? Okay, shift A. I have to fire him? How about Stovall? Can I fire him? Footnote. I don't have anything to fire you with. Robbins. I can't have any black cops? This sucks. I need another detective and another cop. Eh, even though I don't really have... I don't have the best options for these people. That's fantastic. Suburb carjacking. I'm gonna wait a little bit of time just to... A uh, gas station surveillance can't record a call that's on the stolen vehicles list. Find him and get him. Do you understand? Investigation has started. Detectives have interviewed witnesses, collected evidence from the scene, and are pursuing the investigation. Expect results. Drove by in sedan, shot like a machine gun. Didn't see. Only heard a few muffled shots. 
He got what he deserved. He's been causing trouble for a long time, and recently there's been a lot of cussing and carrying on. The neighborhood didn't hear any shots. The police these days didn't do nothing. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine and was hit by some idiot's car. Okay, so I guess it... So I have an investigation. Oh, okay, so I have multiple investigations going on. Destruction of property. Offender caught, no officers harmed. Good, Coaching Sabaki, you're gonna have to hold down the fort because I had to send a lot of people out to uh, deal with that carjacking thing, Majiggy, in the suburbs. Desire Park. Well, you're gonna have to wait, Desire Park, because Kochi and Sub the driver is nowhere to be seen. Wait at a safe distance. Search the car. Well, yes, yeah, search the car. Damn it. Koi Ramsey, mother of several children, has expressed her concerns about a suspicious man wearing bifocals seated on a bench beside a playground. Uh, Kochi and Sabaki, go get him. Probably should have waited for the guy to come back since I knew it was the call. But how was I supposed I guess it's randomized chances based on total professionalism. Uh, what's this? Dragon's Lair? Well, you're going to have to wait a while until I've got people to... Kochi and Tsubaki, you're killing it today. You're killing it today. Good job. Okay. Did... Mr. Boyd, I'm opening Freeburg's first martial arts club and by exhibition I went to host a match. So one of my students takes on your toughest cop. After the fire, I'll teach your man a few tricks, something, well, go for it. Put, now, nah, let's send Yancey. I feel bad sending a woman to go, in case it goes badly. I don't want to say, well, I sent a woman to go get her butt kicked. Homicide report. Your detectives present frames, different versions of what might have happened at the crime scene. They get it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate fact from fiction. And they know how to look at case material. The more professional the detectives work in, the better the instincts. To get to your suspects, you need to figure out the true sequence of events using the frames you think likely, sometimes with a little guesswork thrown in. If you add it all up and the sequence fails, you're probably telling the wrong story. Okay. I guess I just have to wait. But I've got all my... Oh, good, because I have all my cops here. Kevin's throat ball. A bartender reports that a couple dancers started fighting over tips and a cat broke out right on stage. Okay, sending Kochi with Austin and Price. Kochi can keep them in line. A uh, fight at the Octopus Restaurant. A bartender reported that a fight has broken out between a patron and the bar's bouncer. The man, apparently drunk... And climbed on the stage while a local singer was performing and tried to sing a duet with her. Purdy, take Tsubaki and go handle this for me, please. I mean, really, guys, this town is going to hell in a handbasket. And I believe that we're about to close for the day, so we'll just finish all of our investigations. Chief, I just about nailed... Oh, I got a lot of professional info. Nailed the Jap a couple of times, but it was too fast for me and one on points. I don't really understand all the rules, so I can't keep track of points very well. But he was alright, even showed me a few tricks. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. Think I can take a day off? He might ask for a day off now, but that's okay. And now I guess we're just waiting for- Oh my god. On the stage of two strippers going at it, it's beyond- Gone beyond arguing to a full on cat fight. The bon bouncer is fast asleep, too wasted. Listen girls, shut off the music and turn out the lights. It seems, uh, unnecessary to- Strippers continue fighting, oblivious. Step onto the stage and watch strippers go at it. Yeah. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, ladies. And Purdy and Sabaki are handling the last case of the day. And that will be the end of the day. Ah, there you go. We ended on a good day. That's fantastic. Uh, Scope is a little tired. Day five. Uh, how am I supposed to fire all my black cops? Retired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots a pregnant woman. City has no problems with racists. Officer Blaine, I thought she was a suicide bomber. That's great. Uh-oh. Why would a man need a barn? 
to store all the stuff you can't bring home. About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. I did? After in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. Uh-huh. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. What's that? The truck? Uh, a chair? No. It's a chest. Uh, I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Somebody just knocked now on my barn door. My barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. Uh huh. Kendrick? What are you doing? In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains. Who the hell are these two Autobots? We chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the Why does he have his own personal bodyguards? Guests with their own personal bodyguards. I don't like this. Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. When the hell did you get a pair? Nobody said you could sit down, Kendrick. How long have you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? I don't Jack, like you. I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life. Uh-huh. New. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Yeah, because you're corrupt, you idiot. Against me. Who told your mafia friends about your plans? Uh huh. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me, my family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Uh huh. What do you want from me? Contract, Frank. Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyer. <sighs> ah, Frank's really now. screwed it up this no, time. Not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need it inside. My oh, house. absolutely not. You can't just give them back the money. That's not how the mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. Why do I get the feeling you I'm the me, trust? Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces. This is not my problem. I am not agreeing to this. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. No, 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 no. Oh, I get to choose. Hell no, I'm playing it above... Well, this time I'm going to play it above board and see how it goes. I'm not going to lecture you, Frank. I don't think I have anything to say that you don't already know. I'm sorry for your family. I wish them all the best. So this game has some replayability this way. I like it. I kind of expected to hear gunshots, I'm not going to lie. So, you know, I, I think we should play through this game this way. And then we can play it more corrupt the next time and see how it goes. Because it's got, my kid's been causing trouble and they've called me into school. Yes, but come tomorrow, Butch. Butch, whatever. Ooh. I'm hopeful that YouTube's not going to censor me for the music. No matter your personal relationship with the city's administration, your police station is at their mercy. In order to maintain reasonable working conditions, you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor. 
City Hall. Decisions from City Hall depend on whether they're satisfied with your work. You can send requests every five days. The fools in charge of the city may refuse outright, or accept only some of your requests, so only ask for what you really need. Uh... Just a officer. I'm on shift A. I don't have a choice. It says I have to fire these guys. I need two detectives and another officer. I mean... Oh, well, that's great. I don't have... I can't believe I have to... Well, I'm not going to fire them now because I, I have to use them today. Here's your weekly salary. City Hall hopes we don't disappoint. Fire all black cops. Tomorrow is the deadline, so I have to fire them by tomorrow. Labor market. I can't hire him. He's black. I don't... This is... Oh, that's great. Eddie's Burgers. Every morning there's a dirty, soaked... Boom, sleep in the cafe. Growls at anyone, so somebody take Birch and go deal with this. Robbery. Oh, witness all man with a stocking on his head robbing a nearby liquor store. Prado. Take Robbins, take Grant, take Anashi. I mean, I can't hire the guy. I, I don't. Up oh, residential area fight. A hot dog vendor reported they saw two Elvis impersonators grappling right there on the site. Swearing in Spanish. Why are they swearing in Spanish? I don't think it matters what order you put them in, but why not? Birch and Samadhi. Come on, guys. Disorderly contact report. Uh... Up. Oh. Shop has two exits from which a few people have already fled. Driver control. That seems a little excessive. Sneak up to the back door. S stick up man knows the police presence took. He's holding his gun to the back off. Cashier silently take. Quiet. I boo you. No. You and the mask. Shut your face. Drop the weapon. I I'll just take a No one was hurt. There's two way. Bot. Oh, come on! There were four of you! Damn it! Robbery at this... An antique Chinese necklace was stolen from Baoling when she was on her way to the pawn shop. Jackson, you're the only one I got. It's a hot one today and a lot of people... Last week, four people drowned. Please send one... I don't have anybody. Because you didn't give me enough co You're making me fire all my damn cops! It now features teams instead of singles. Can you send me two of your finest... Oh, hang on, I'll... I'll... Oh, come on, guys! A gang of young people. We don't need this in our city. Somebody and Birch are the only two I've got to send. I need more cops. I'll send... Uh, me and my husband got into a difficult financial situation. And we're going to pawn an antique necklace been for many centuries. Carrying the necklace to the pawn shop, someone with the bag didn't have time to do anything. Offender on a motorcycle, grabbed, drove down, grabbed the bag and escaped. It didn't even time to see him. Couldn't see his face. Jacket like a biker on the street corner. Probably not local. They are bald and have beard. This one was Asian. I didn't see a weapon in his hand. Okay. So they'll work on that. Uh. Prado, Anastasia, just go do something. I don't know. I'm not doing so well, guys. Report on destruction of property. Oh my god. I don't know how to do this. 
We're not doing so well. Day five is not ending very well. Okay, robbery report. You've got three new frames. Open the investigation. I don't think that is going to help us. Homicide. I've got three new frames. Drove by in a sedan. That's a pickup. That doesn't help. Only a few muffled shots. To buy some medicine. Oh, we got it. I know racers already had some. Your detectives have information on the whereabouts of a suspect. Sometimes there might be a number of locations to choose from. To carry out the arrest, two officers must support the lead investigator to apprehend the subject. If the lead investigator is not on duty, the arrest will have to wait. But fugitives won't sit patiently. Also remember that criminals react in different ways. A frightened thief will surrender. A brutal killer might want to see how many he can take with more dangerous... Yeah, okay, so SWAT can go. And Hong can go. Oh, Atticus Tower, that's fantastic. Does this pause you? Okay. We did it, boy. Oh, we got a lot of professional. Too bad I have to fire Prado because he's black, dang it. Even Tars the Hing with the do. So we'll be taking a day off, we deserve it. Atticus Tower, send a guard, saw a teenager riding obscenity as I chased the up the street. You can take it from here. It's almost the end of the day. I don't think I'll have to send Robin and Birch out on anything. We just gotta wait and see how this detective thing goes. Oh god, please don't die. It's okay, I sent SWAT with them. Homicide report. Yes! You were able to arrest all suspects. Case closed. And we're just waiting on Samadhi and Grant to finish their report on the vandalism. Why are you guys letting them get away? Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Tune in next time and we'll continue trying to do our damn job for this city. It's a dirty job, but I've got to do it.